Look at this chaver that came at five o'clock in the afternoon. They're already here in the morning for a shear. This is the second shear today, part of a four shear series starting yesterday, which we did four shearim yesterday, and we're basically going to do four shearim today. There's some rumor that missiles left Iran down the way to Israel. Others are saying it's false. But if, even if they didn't leave, they're about to leave. There's fear in the ear, but we have no fear. We're right over here learning Torah. Torah is magno matzla. Now, because it's a special shear, so it's slightly abridged, it's a little bit shorter than usual, we're going to skip the emails. Most of the sponsors, they'll be Michael, and we'll do them after Yontif. Uh, the point of the shear is because people didn't want to fall behind, and they, were, they asked to do the, the dappen before Yontif, and even after Yontif, immediately after Yontif. So we're going to try to get these all edited, uploaded before Yontif, so that people could go through the dappen and not fall behind. Of course, if you fall behind, then you skip ahead. Uh, one sponsor for today, sponsor are you, Melbourne, Australia, for our dear soldiers and Khatufim and all, Klai Yisrael, especially Rib Eli, thank you very much. I mentioned this the other day, I'll mention it again today, that um, the Olam davened for me last year, but I think not the whole Olam, just very few, because everybody thought that the other guy is going to die. So I'm asking, if you watch this year, maybe stick in my name. It wasn't the greatest year for me in terms of health-wise. I had a few scares. I had a stroke scare. I had a knee issue, which I couldn't walk for almost a month. And now my knee is completely crooked. And v'chulu v'chulu. So Mimela, this is my brother, because my brother likes to call while I give shear. So, and he's probably the only one that could get through. Anyway, we will go weiter. So today we are starting the Tzadik Tesom Beis by the Mishnah. If somebody has a field and the public like to use this field as a shortcut, I have been on some of these fields in Muncie, there's different places, South Africa, where in order to get to Shul, you go through people's property. In fact, there's a Rabbi Mantros that lives right here across from the Shul. He's a very famous Talmud Chacham in the neighborhood, big, big Talmud Chacham. He has a koil, and uh, his father lived like on, a, on the other side of the dead end where I used to live in Chicago, and he allowed me to go through his property. Rabbi Mantros in Chicago, should have Rafu Shlema. So people use different people's properties to get through. Um, in Harnov, you know, you go through the Katzenelenburg and through the thing. Over there, they don't allow it. Okay. But it happens. So, not law. He was not happy where the public was walking through. That really caused him issues. He said, you know what? Let me give you another piece. Let me give you something. You know, a little bit on the, here, Minatzad. You were going right through. Let me give you something on the, on the side of it. Says the Mishnah, Great, thank you for the gift. Unfortunately, you don't get to switch it out. Now they have two paths instead of one. Says the Mishnah Der Hayachid Arba Amos. We're talking about a private way, four Amos. That's a typical if you were asked to, if you, if you sold away and you didn't explain how much, somebody comes to you and says, I want, I want to be able to get to my uh, well. Sell me a way. How much is a way? How much is a path? Four Amos. Der Harabim, Sheshesh Sri Amos. We know Rosh Hashanah is much wider, 16 Amo. Derech HaMelech, Ein Lashir, a king, he can do whatever he wants. 100 Amo wide, 2,000 feet, whatever he wants. Eminent domain, takes over, goes. Derech HaKever, Ein Lashir. Going to Levaya, as the Gemara is going to explain, covered a maze, you just go. Hamaimod, after the Levaya, they had a whole ceremony. And they would say, Psukim, we're going to see it later on in Amad Beis. Dayana Tzipayi Amru, Beis Arba Kavim. You need something the size of four Kav. Ask the Gemara, Amai Shiloi Lohi If the owner gives the public another way, 
Why can't he have his original way? There's something called, in all of Shas, Khaifin Almidas Dain. We force a person, even though you could say, well, in Shukhanar, but if you're acting like a Zdaimi, we'll force you out of it. There's no reason why the public need two pathways now. You know what the, the, the owner, what his intent was. His intent was to get one path and give another. Don't grab the other path. So, so you want to keep the original, keep the original. Why grab the second one? Linkoid Pazro, Velasev. Let him, here, Yoshi made ones. This is a good one. Let him take a bat and sit there and protect his, his way. There's two paths, let him protect it. So, just what? This is an old story. If you're new to the Shir, maybe you don't know this, but I once had a, I don't know if I had to, I felt like doing it. Um, some girl stole lots of belongings from my daughter. We caught her red-handed, like she was walking around, the people, she was posting pictures of herself with my daughter's stuff. My daughter knew it was just one of a kind stuff. So my daughter told me about it. We came up with a plan. And uh, when this girl was in class, I went into the dormitory and I said, didn't ask me. I took all my daughter's stuff back, including three coats, basically thousands of dollars worth of stuff. And uh, I went in with my daughter and with my whatever, I'm not going to say, put, throw other people on the bus, but I went with a few girls, and we went through, it had her name and most of the stuff, and we got everything back, put it in a suitcase, and we left. Problem is that there were cameras there, and the uh, owner of the seminary, I used to play a lot of ball with him, and he had my phone number, and he called me up, he says, listen, you do that one more time, I'm going to call the cops on you, the whole thing, he's, re- he's really upset at me. So I told him, I said, listen, he said, I said, what do you want me to do? He said, you should have told me, and I would have taken care of it. I said, sure, yeah, you, you'd find all the stuff, and by the time you speak to her, she would hide it, you go and I take the stuff. So, was it okay what I did? So, I don't know, I'm not passing, I'm not a rav. Back then, I didn't do the daf, so it's a bit of an amaret. But we did pass in that when it comes to a makim pseido, when you're going to have a loss, we had this whole sugya, you're allowed to take things into your own hand. If you know that there's going to be a loss, you go in, you take, and that's it. It's your stuff. I mean, so it's trespass. It's my stuff. But from here, it seems like you cannot do your own. You can't take a bat and sit there and say, no, you, you only on the right side, not on the left side. You can't do that. So that would be a contradiction to what we're passing already in other places. We are concerned that, yeah, you're right. You should be able to take it back, but we're concerned you're going to give the guy something like this, a crooked way, beautiful picture, but crooked. In other words, until now, the tzibur was going in a direct line. Now, because you gave him another path, you're going to do something that's out of the way, and we want to avoid that. No, says Rava, we're talking about in a case where you gave a crooked way. But if you gave him the second way, the second route, you gave him two routes, one was on the right, one was on the left, the tzibur doesn't get to keep both. It's only when you gave them a crooked way, an out of the way way. Ravashi Omar, Every time you give the tzibur another pathway, you're giving them a crooked way. Why? There are some people that now live further away from the new path. So that's the Derech HaKalasan. You're right, it's very, very straight. It's like a laser. But it happens to be 200 feet out of my way. Until now, I was in a pathway that was close to my house. Now I have to go to the end of the field, which is 500 acres, and it's very far away. There's a Mekach Taos over here. I thought, I'm an Amaretz. I didn't go to Daf Yomi. I don't know anything. I thought I could pull off a nice, a reasonable shtick, not a shtick, like a reasonable thing. I'm going to give you a new way. Give me back the old way. Okay, so you taught me a lesson. You can't do that. So at least give me back the new way. Keep the old way. My mistake, give me back my mistake. 
Why do I have to suffer the consequences for making a mistake? Now, why do you get two ways? Says the Gemara, Hamani Rebbe Lezer, he, the Sanyi Rebbe, you know, Imer Mishim Rebbe Lezer, Rabbim Shabir Lem, Shabir Derech La'atzma, Mashabiru, Biru. That's it. Once the Tzibor grabs onto something, it's theirs. Ask the Gemara, Rebbe Lezer, Rabbim Gazlanim, you know, what do you mean once they grab it, it's theirs? They're allowed to steal because they're the public, they're allowed to steal? Public is allowed to steal? Oh, must be talking about where they lost the way. They used to have a path. Then it came a rain or something, destroyed the path. We were just talking about the, the basic forest here in, in Bachamesh. So crazy stuff. I guess the, everybody knows this because I was talking to people. Like, yeah, there was a big rain once and the whole road like, was swept away with graves, with bodies. And it was a, it's a mess. So uh, I'm just, because we're, we're talking about graves and lo- losing graves, and we're going to have a whole sugi soon about that. But what's going to get to our sugi? Obviously, sometimes the pathway gets lost. I don't know if it's here or there. You know, I could see where people, with this grass over here, and there's, you know, it's nice and brown, but then a big rain comes, a storm, and everything gets uprooted, and now I don't know anything. So in that case, the rabbim has the right to grab whatever they, they feel like. You just said in the name of Rav that the, the Rabbim has the right to do it. And now you're telling me that Halacha is not like Rebbe Lazar. So you're saying, well, you're right. Then if you say one, then you either you, hold, you don't hold that Allah is like Rebbe Lazar, you hold that Allah is like Rebbe Lazar, or you, you don't hold that Allah is like Rebbe Lazar. It depends how you hold. If you hold that the, the uh, <clears throat> yeah, you could hold either way, but it, they don't go together. It says, Gemara, the time am I. Now, if you hold that the Allah is not like your blazer, why can't the owner take back his, the way that he gave them? It says, Gemara, Mishum, the Rav Yehuda, Dama Rav Yehuda, Metzer, Shechzikah, Boi Rabbim, Asa, Lekalkaloi. That's a very famous halacha. We had it a number of times. Metzer means the boundary. In those days, they would make a boundary out of dirt. Now, if the Sibur decides, you know what, let's not ruin the guy's field, but we'll just trample on this, we'll make this a pathway. It's, this is above ground, we'll just walk on it. And obviously when they walk on it, what happens? It, it smushes down, or whatever the word is, they make it a pathway. So, they what? Flatten it out. So, we say, <clears throat> once the Sibur walks on it back and forth, Asur le Kalkaloi. I forgot, um, there's some sort of uh, nidoin. What if, um, I saw the, a discussion. What if, let's say, somebody doesn't have permits on a, on a lot. He owns a lot here in Eretz Shul. You have a lot. Sometimes it can take 10 years to get building permits. And the shul, there's a shul next door, so everybody's walking through his lot. Does he care? No, he's not building there now. And then he wants to build, and they say, wait, 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 you can't build. Sounds familiar? It sounds like chutzpah, but... Are we known a little bit for that? So, what's not lacha? Because he didn't care. Why? Because right now he's not, he's, he doesn't care. He's not going to make a big fuss out of somebody walking through an empty lot which he can't build. Mm-hmm. And he knows, he knows it's his. But he never gave him permission to not let him build there his $40 million high rise. So, okay, this is a discussion. In order to make a Kenyan, you have to pay for it, you have to do a chazaka, you have to uh, get a shtar. How exactly was there a kinyan? It says, Gemara bihilucha, walking. Walking is a kinyan, a new way of a kinyan. Nisanya, halachba la'arka ularachba, kana mokim ilucha, divir b'liyazer. Just by walking, like the guy that bought Petach Tikva, walking, you go north-south, east-west, you, you make a kinyan by walking. You mark the, uh, the territory by walking. This is how we pass in that walking is nothing. You have to make a chazaka. No, I'll go to Parats. You have to take a tractor, do something. What's Pshad or Rebeliezer? The walking helps. He tells him, go walk the length and the width. Huh, we're talking about Eretz Yisrael now, we're talking about Lebanon, we're talking about Gaza, we're talking about 
what belongs to us, the whole, the whole conflict, the Palestinian Jewish conflict, is based on these psukim over here. As Baruch tells Abraham Avinu, this is yours. Go, walk, the length, the width. Akash Baruch didn't want Avram Avinu to acquire Eretz Yisrael then, because he didn't acquire Eretz Yisrael, because it's generations later that Akash Baruch gave it to his children. So why did he do it? To show, to show Avram how much he loved him. Later on, generations are going to have issues. Ooh, we know what those issues are. The guy are going to say, it's not yours. It says Akash Baruch Hu, in the Torah, I'm giving it to you. <clears throat> so look at this Rashi, this Rishbam, that has everything to do with Rosh Hashanah. Let me see your Gemara for one second. Because my Gemara is different, I just want to make sure. Yeah, so the, the widest line in the Rishbam, on the bottom, where it gets super wide, so the Rishbam says, Shabbat wants him to be inheritors and not thieves. This is Mamish Rosh Hashanah. We, we blow the Shaiva, right? We shouldn't have permission. The Southern shouldn't have permission to be in the Yisrael. Rabbi Didi was here the whole time? In the kitchen? No. What? No. So he just walked in for a second. Veloy Pe, I see you. I see you, Rabbi Didya. Veloy Pe, Lebal Midas Hadin. Smamish. That the Satan shouldn't have something to, to be captured with. And a Pisrim Pe, Lebal Midas Hadin. We're not talking about the guy, we're talking about the Baal Midas Hadin. Okay. Zog Gemara. Um, we have a pathway in a vineyard. So let's see a pathway in a, in a vineyard. This pathway is made for one thing. It's made for walking. So something that's made for walking, that's the whole tafkid and tayalis of this pathway. So then, when you Walk it, you acquire it. But when you have a, let's say, open field, that the purpose of the field is to plant something on it, and you walk it, then you don't acquire it. <clears throat> you should give him a pathway. How, how wide is the pathway? Give him a pathway that when a person is carrying a whole load of branches, He's able to go back, forth. He's able to turn around here. So here's a guy with uh, branches. And there's a wall on both sides in the vineyard. This is because there's a wall. So obviously, you see, he won't be able to turn. He won't be able to make... If it was narrower than this picture right over here, the guy won't be able to turn. Why? Because the branches... Now, I don't know how wide these branches are, but whatever is normal for a human being to carry... It's not 10 feet wide, so I have something. Then, if there was a solid wall, he wouldn't be able to make the turns. But if there's no walls, then what's the problem? Even if it's narrower, he can make a turn. Then the shear is whatever, you could put one foot and then another foot in front and walk like this. It could be really narrow. We have a little bit of a video here. First of all, let's see this one. Here. This one is narrow. Why? Because there's no wall. So it gets stuck a little bit, a few branches, not, not the end of the world. Um, where did I see this one here? Oops. Here's the uh, animal walking on a very straight and narrow. Okay. Says the Gemara, Derech Hayochid Arba Amis. The private pathway is four amas wide. Tana acher ma'imrim k'day shi'avur chamor b'masai. So uh, maybe that was that one here. Here you go. Chamor b'masai. Um, so we'll see. 
So the Rosh Bam says, Shnei Gimodim or Mechza Yu, we're going to see soon. I know he put three and a half hours, but okay. I don't know what that is from. Omer Avuno, Halacha Gachirim, that it has to be wide enough for a donkey and its load. Then a Goyla, Shnei Gimodim or Mechza, a Gamod is from the elbow to here. So it's a little bit of a smaller ama, two and a half. Omer Avuno, Halacha Kedayan and Goyla, the Halacha is like that. That it has to be the width of a donkey with its load. It's actually the same. When I say that's exactly what the shear. Maybe we should do. Um, Avremi, do me a favor. Go in this uh, thing and change it to two, 2.5. I don't think it's 3.5. I don't know where we got the 3 from. All all right, Zogdi Gimara, let me just make sure we didn't skip any chash of things here. Oh. Gishmak. Okay. Moving on. By the way, what's your name? Matis Cooperwasser from? You lived here your whole life, kind of thing? All right, welcome, welcome. You know, we're having shiurim here every day, because it's not about the dot, it's about the yoimi. So even on Yontif, we're having shiurim here. Um, every day Yontif, 4.30, right? Mincha is 5.30, so one hour before Mincha, 4.30, and then after Mincha and Tashlach, there'll be uh, drinks and maybe a very, a little kibud, some cake or whatever, nothing crazy, because you guys are coming right off the meal. There Harabim, and then Matzishav is the same schedule, um, I'm trying to think what else. Thursday, Friday, there's two Shema on Thursday, two Shema on Friday, and Matzi Shabbos, regular schedule. Okay. Torah Bara. Derech Hayochid, Arba Amois. So let's go back here. Derech Hayochid, here's Derech Hayochid again, four Amos. Derech Meir Leir, Shmoina Amois. Now, from city to city is like a highway. So you need to be able to fit within the highway cars coming from the opposite direction, right? So you have the, cam, uh, the, the donkey going this way. We said, Adar HaYachad is four Amas. Four Amas takes up a little. You, have, you need to be able to fit two-way, two-way traffic. So you give it eight Amas. Daf, Kof, Amad Beis, sponsored by... Do we switch yet? Yeah. It's Davkov. So we switch? Yeah. Okay. Davkov is a switcheroo. Oy. So now it's not, not easy anymore. Can't do a Valpe. Especially not this long one. The Belsky family, in memory of Simcha Beryl David, Olav Hashem ben Avram Moshe. Does anybody recognize that name? On every chair, the back of every chair in the Mismedrish, it says here. I can't lift this. These are heavy. But here we go. Every chair in the Mishnah, these are gorgeous chairs, by the way. Man, beautiful. Top quality. They're over a year old, and they look like they're brand new. And uh, that's one of the reasons why the father, Abelski, came on the trip with us, because this donation alone is about a $20,000 donation. How do I know? Because I was in the middle of ordering it, and that, that's the price they quoted. And it might have been even more, but with the shipping and everything, at the end of the day, it was tough shipping during uh, that period. Anyway... So, Kinovations LLC, in honor of my uncle, Rebbe Chonin Pressman, official, should be a schuss for Simcha Ben Fego, that's my son. A shidduch for Rivka Yehudis Bas Yafachaya, thank you to Rebbe Stefanski for selflessly giving up her husband for the cloud. Should be a schuss for a year filled with mazel, brocha, slocha, parnosa, berevach, and refua, amen. Derech harabim, sheisher sriyamus. We know, shus harabim, the whole Sakta Shabbat is full of it. Thank you, Avrami. See here, let's show the change that you made just so that there's no two and a half hours. Okay. Derech Ari Miklot. There were six cities called Ari Miklot. Here, there's even a sign. Ari Miklot, city of refuge. The, I just had to check to make sure that we don't, oh, by the way, if Chas Shalom, there's a siren in the middle of Shir, he will get up in the middle of Shir calmly, without pushing over the other guy, we're going to go, most likely to uh, the tunnel. You could run home. You have a mamad at home. Whoever lives right next door, 
if there's time, go there. And they, they just showed a, a video. Um, I saw a video from yesterday where, yes, two days ago, there was a siren, a missile came in, they shot it down, and maybe five minutes after the siren went off, a piece landed on top of a truck and made a giant hole in the truck. It was a massive, it was a pipe like this big, massive pipe and a part of a missile. So they're saying even after the siren goes off, you should sit around for about 10 minutes. You never know what kind of piece comes flying in. Okay. Zok the Gemara. Derech HaRabi Shesh Yisrael Derech HaRimiklot Shloishim Mushtayim Amis. You go to the Arimiklot, if you kill somebody before there's a, a Bezdin, you kill somebody by accident, you run to the to the Arimiklot. Derech HaRimiklot Shloishim Mushtayim Amis. Here we have a picture of a street that could be 32 Amma, probably even more. 32 Amma is about 60 feet. This is probably even more than that. This is a massive street. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lanes in each direction. So that's a, a serious, uh, and you can see how many cars are backed up for, for blocks. Shloishim Ushtayim. The Ponovich Rav once asked the Chazanish, says, why do I have to go to America and all over the world and collect money for yeshivas while it's so easy for the universities, right? How much money is Harvard sitting on? In the billions. All these uh, big universities, billions of dollars. People just give them and give them for what? So the Chazanish said, why is it that the Ir Miklot has a sign? The sign's everywhere, Ir Miklot. But when people go to Yerushalayim, there's no signs. The answer is because when you go to Yerushalayim, you want to ask people, how do you get to Yerushalayim? And people say, oh, another guy asked me, oh, it's probably, it's probably Yantav, it's probably Alila Regal, I better go myself. You want to give awareness to people. Ir Miklot, you don't want to tell people you just killed somebody. You'll bring down society. Oh, I just killed somebody. Where's the Ramiklot? So we put signs out for everybody. She so says, nobody cares about the universities, but you going to America, you, you build up the awareness about yeshivas and Tyra. And, and in fact, you know, there's a lot of yeshivas that come to America and they give speeches by Shal Shudas and they come to shuls. And so it increases. I'm not saying that that's what the Chazanish was telling you. Omar Avuna, Micro. What do you see that it's 32 Amas? The Chsiv, Tochen Lecha Haderech. The Torah could have said, Tochen Lecha Derech. That's the normal way of saying it. Prepare a way. What's Haderech? Because the word Derech is 16 Amas. Derech, Haderech. And the word Haderech is the second word that's to double it up to 32. Derech HaMelech in Lashir. The way of a king. He doesn't have a 62 or 32, whatever he wants, he does. Shamelech pirates gather a king, breaks through, lastly, derech, ve'imim machim and no one can say a word. The famous, famous Maisa with the and Eshitz. But today I have a twist to the story. When he was a, a kid, the king said, Oh, I heard you're such a genius. So you're such a gen- genius, I'm going on a trip. Which one of the the city gates am I going to be coming through? So he said, okay. He wrote it down on a piece of paper. They put it in an envelope. They sealed it. And uh, I'm taking a guess. So the king comes back and goes to the gate. He says, well, if I go on this one, he probably guess this one because it's the bigger one. I'm the king. I'm going to go the smaller one. But I can't go on the smaller one because he probably reversed the thought. So I'm going to go on the big one. The large one, he started getting confused. He said, you know what? I'm just going to make myself my own you know, break through the, the wall and go on the third one. That's what he did. So they opened up the envelopes and said th- these words, Shamelech, pirates, gather, lasis, lederech. It says that a king breaks his way through. So I knew that you're going to break your way through the, the wall. However, there's a safer from Rabbi Nasheh ben Yisrael. He was uh, from the Gerushit Sfarad. What is it called? Zer <coughs> Tachtat. You know, they chased him out. How do you say it in English? The, uh, the ones that had to leave Spain. Spanish Inquisition. So he's before the various A few hundred years before, I think. And he writes in a Sefer, in the, the Sefer Yuchsen, that this exact story, and he said it happened with, uh, no, he says it happened with Rebbe Avram, the Baal Sefer Yuchsen, with the king of Spain. So this puts a whole damper on the story I've been saying for a very long time about Rebbe Nations, because here it is, like typical for every good story, many different people take credit for it, but this is, this is already hundreds of years before. So we got a little bit of a problem. Okay. 
It happened twice, twice. But then it's not a chachma that Rabbi Yonis and was mechavi because he heard the story and therefore he, he just repeated what he heard. Okay. Derech hakever ain lo shir. And now when you go for a funeral, there's also no shir. Why? Mishum yikar the shichva. Because if you chase away the levaya, that's the opposite of giving respect to the dead. That's a bizayin ames. What's this moment? So we're going to see what it is. If somebody is desperate for money and he sells his grave, the way to get to the grave, the place where you do the moment, which we're going to see soon, it's on the way back from the funeral, and the place that you give the eulogy, the spedim, the family comes, they ignore everything. They say, okay, he was desperate for money. As we're going to see tomorrow's daf, which I already gave yesterday, it's a whole confusion. Why it was like that? It was just because I made a mistake. I was going on the Israeli daf, forgetting that the American daf comes after the Israeli daf, and therefore, I thought I was going to be able to... Okay, don't ask. The, the bottom line is I prepared the wrong daf. So I had to give kuf alif yesterday and kuf today. It's all out of order anyway, so I figured it doesn't matter how out of order you go. Yesterday I did kuf alif. It's funny, now thinking about it. Kuf alif yesterday, kuf today and Tzadik Tess at 9 o'clock tonight, and Tzadik Ches, 7.10 in the morning. So I went backwards, basically. Kuf Aleph, Kuf, Tzadik Tess, Tzadik Ches. Great. When, when you're desperate, and there's a three-day yontif, you take desperate measures. So, every time I stop and say something, I'm just thinking about Yosef Biliak saying, but what, so you could have just said the sponsors at the same price. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you take it from another shear, I don't care. Well, I do care. I, I just want the shear to be as short as possible because really people are struggling with the shear and they don't want to sit in here jokes right now. They just want to get it done. Anyway, fine. Says the Gemara. Um, so this is a serious, interesting halacha. A guy sells his caver 100% sold with a star, with a bezdin, with his edim, whatever you want. A full deal. The, the family comes, completely ignores everything. Obviously, they're going to pay for it. But they listen, the way it used to work, and even if you take a peek on tomorrow's daf, uh, the next daf, on the pictures, these are not mathematical equations. It's just a very, very simple daf. It's just a depiction, and we have the same thing. I, I show a video on tomorrow's daf of um, Sanedria Murchevet. It literally looks like this picture. Like, there's just... These are chambers that are cut into the wall. Today they have it in Harim Menuchas. It's, they didn't bury in the ground, they buried in a wall, in a cave. So if you have a family plot, you have like one of these rooms, like you see in the picture, a whole room, and there's like three over here, two, it's a whole family. You got desperate for money, you sold one. So now the Mishpach is not together. Everything is messed up. It's a, it's a bazillion, it's a, it puts a, taints the, the family name, whatever it is. A special halacha, very rare halacha, that even though there's a sale, we're, you can go back on it. The family could ignore him, and they, they, they pay, they reimburse the guy, but they can go back on it. Torah Abba. When they come back from the funeral, so they stop, today we stop, we say a capital to him. We Kaddish, keep on going. Over there, they did it a little, it was more intense. They would stand up, and they would tell everybody, okay, now sit down, stand up. They would give a little musr. So let's see the Rajbam. There's a beautiful Rajbam. Rajbam, Dibir Ramaskil, Mishiva Ma'amodo Yisum Shabbos. There's like 20 lines from the top. It says the Rajbam, Chazirosim and Akever, maybe uh, um, Yosef, whoever is editing this, I would just see if Kobe is going to do one of his, you know, uh, highlights this Rajbam, because it's, it's important. They go a little bit, and then they sit down to give a nichlam to the mourner. Or, another reason, to increase the pain that we just lost this dead, the mace. Now listen to this. And to increase the crying. The boys, I hear this, this is Rosh Hashanah again. 
that each person should return and do tshuva. You shall know that a person's life is a, is a joke. It's hevel, it's nothing. It's not what we're here for. We, the real thing is Olam HaEmes. This is just uh, a prize door. It's a hallway to get there. They go, they sit, they come, they, they sit down again. Seven times. Why? To remind the person that your life is nothing. Says the Gemara, now that we see this from Shabbat, the word Hevel, where do you get this from? Says the Gemara, the famous Pasuk in Kohelas, the, for the second Pasuk in Kohelas, Havel Havelim Omar Koyelas. Havel Havelim Hakoil Havel. So take a look at the Pasuk here on the chart. And as you see, whoa, what is going on here? I didn't do it like that, but okay, they're all jumping around. I guess I, I copied a, a, I copied a number that had a built in um, animation in it. Let's do that again. That's crazy. Each one. <laughs> It would be great here. One, two, three, five, seven. Okay, you see, Havel is singular, one. Havalim is plural, that's three. Havel again is four. Havalim is another two, is six. And finally, Havel is seven. That's how you get the seven. So now if you put that together with the Rosh Bam, our life is Havel Havalim. Just remember that. Hakol Havel. Shtusim. But, in a life of shtus, we could accomplish tremendous. We're here to accomplish. Zog the Gimbar. Oh, <laughs> you also just leave it in there. I think it's, it's hilarious. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, there, Rav Lerashi. Hey, Chiyavdi. What is this Maimed business? Like we learned in the Bride Summer of Yehuda, Yehuda Brishon, in Yerushalayim, there wasn't less than seven of these Mamadis Mishavah Islamites standing, sitting for the dead. Kigayin, the guy would announce, Imdu Yikarim Mamoy, do everybody stand up? Shvu Yikarim Shavu, everybody sit down. Omrullah, in Kain, Abba Shavas, Mudu Lassis Kain. The Minik is not to do this on Shavas. Why can't you do this on Shavas? Says Gemara, Chosid the Romi Bar Papa, Abba Nesivale, and the Rav Avio. The, the sister of Rami Bar Papa was married to Rav Avi Yoshchiva and she was nifter of at loss. Rav Avi made a maimed umayshav. Om Rav Yosef, ta betarti. He made two grand mistakes when he did this for his wife. Ta she noisim elo bekroivim vu avad afidu berachayim. This is something done for relatives and not for strangers that just came to Levi. This is for family. Veta she noisim elo biyom rishayim vu avad biyom sheni. You do it on the day of the burial, not uh, in the middle of Shiva. You don't take it the whole, the whole tzibur. Oh, let's do my mother's. Oh, once Rav Yosef, the Rebbe, is saying that they made a mistake. Let me tell you that he made another mistake. This is done in the cemetery, not done in the middle of the city. Rav Omar, another Talmud. Rebbe, he made a fourth mistake. He did it in a place. There was no minute. What are you inventing? Why are you reinventing? Bringing back old minagim? It's like today. We don't have this minute. So somebody's like, oh, I want to do it. I think it's a beautiful thing. Do it. It's a mistake. You don't do it. That's not what we do. Right? That was the question before. If it's just standing, sitting, so what's the problem? Do it on Shabbos also. The Amr's be basic far as will be on Rishon. They tell me you could only do it in a cemetery in a, right by the day of the Kfura. Basic Kfura, the Shabbos, my boy. How, how did you get to who buries on Shabbos? We're talking about not in the cemetery. We're talking about the closest civilization to the cemetery, like in Bnei Brak, or like here in Bnei Chemesh, I guess. You bury in the Erez uh, HaChayim until you get the civilization, the first houses in Bnei Chemesh. They buried him Erev Shabbos ben Hashemoshes. And therefore, so, let me ask you a question. If they buried a person ben Hashemoshes, Friday, sun goes down, that's already Friday night. What's Friday night? That's already Shabbos. And we just said you can only do Mamadais the day of the burial. 
How could you do it? It's already the next day. That's what the Gemara is saying. They buried the person right before Shabbos. And Memela, by the time they got to the closest city, and then they sat down, but it's already Shabbos. Says the Rishbam, when it comes to Aninos, when it comes to the first day of mourning a person, then it's interesting. Something changes. The night goes for the day before. It's not a new day. It's not Shabbos. It's actually considered Friday for the halachas of Aninos. So Memela, that's why it's okay to do the Mamadois that a boy say, have a good yontif, Yishkoya for coming, have a good Shabbos. No, this is before Shabbos. I think. This is the first day of Rosh Hashanah. I don't know where we are. This is Wednesday. We are hoping that uh, we'll hear Surah's Tavis tonight, that there shouldn't be any missiles from Iran. And we should have a, a quiet and very meaningful yontif. Thank you for coming.